I got a few items of news that you might not have seen. They're like kind of the most censored news items of the month or something. Or, oh, really? Yeah, one of them is uh, last month Ramadan was uh, genocide and ethnic cleansing in Burma. Have you? Did you catch that at all? No. Okay, there's, I think at least five thousand. I don't know it. It, but it, there's there's a tribe. There's a minority tribe. I guess they're the most persecuted. They're the Rohingya of the Myanmar province. This is just from my research from the last month or two at first i just couldn't it, it must have been kind of like when when they walked in on other genocide and just couldn't believe it was going on but these were like burn alive in a i think it was a bamboo mosque they burn a, like a lot of them and it what was it? it was state sponsored and then fundamentalist buddhists that did it it was the it, it was like maybe like burma's president or well now um but and then when they then when they fled Burma, that well first they are there there's the tribe that's been there since the eighth century and and they're the most persecuted tribe because they're in this this uh, Buddhist fundamentalist and then really bad state sponsored um, ethnic cleansing. Oh, I help them. But when they went got to Bangladesh, then they got turned down by the Coast Guard and were just left to a lot of them were just left to drown in sea in in the rowboats. So oh my God! What on earth? Yeah, it, it, that that's one of the most terrible things that happened last month. And then there's the Syria, oh. cri the the civil war in Syria with Bashar Assad, and then the civilians. He's just bombing civilian neighborhoods and like uh, even elementary schools. He'll just like shell an elementary school, and then you see a video of all these children being brought out of the school. Oh. But there, oh, there's those are I think those are two of the most censored stories. And, then there's well, the ongoing, the ongoing Palestine-Israel border conflict with the bulldozers and everything. Yeah. So, well, it, it doesn't matter um, who it looks like it is. Whoever is doing it is infested. They're the ones that they're infested. They're going to try to make this group look bad or that group look bad. No, it has to do with individuals who are either filled or not filled with the Holy Spirit. Have you heard of the Dolly Moon? The Dolly Moon. Yeah, they're the polytheists, wrongdoers, and unbelievers. It, it, then it's like says, "Beware of the Dolly Moon." Or no, I think I was gonna have a protest sign that said, "Beware of the Dolly Moon." And then it was gonna have like those Buddhists with their big musket rifles. They're supposed to be so peaceful. They have like these Buddhists in robes with these like huge rifle or these huge revolvers. It's like the big musket revolvers. They're like really violent Buddhists. Wow. But yeah. Well. They, they're out there. There's violent Christians, there's violent Muslims, there's violent different ones, but bad guys will hide anywhere. I used to say to God, why is there always something really, really good and something really stupid right next door, something mean and evil? And I found out, <clears throat> if there's something really, really good, the Satanists have to have it. They have to put something next door to make it look bad. They had to take these mountains because they're called the Blood of Christ Mountains. Turn them Buddhist. Yeah, and in the unseen dimension, there's probably in those areas where something really good's going on. That's where all the devils are stationed to attack it, like in the unseen realm. I am under attack daily. Do you yeah. know what projects I'm working on here? <laughs> well, yeah, the more good you, you try to do, the more evil that's going to try to stand against it. So. Well, if you knew what I was doing, you'd go, "Oh, I get it." <laughs> I'd be like. Maybe no, I'm going you to should try right to. You now. need to establish your your salat, your five prayers a day to protect yourself. Well, I pray all the time. Oh well, yeah, that too. But you know, the form formal Orthodox prayers five times a day seems to be helping me. I think that, all that it does doing the physical exercises and changing diet, all that stuff. Yeah. the salat will help you a lot. Uh, Salat helps a lot. Yeah, Salat helps a lot. Let's get that on yeah. our bumper sticker. It does because um, it what helps you're me doing is your your intention is connecting with God. Your uh, activity is physical. Um, oh yeah, it's all in the heart. It all has to do with purifying your heart. So that's that's a good uh, emotional activity. Yeah, you're trying to center your your heart, but the physical thing, uh, the 
interesting, the first move that you make is putting the hands on the knees, right? Oh, the now, first time that you, like, bow, yeah. Well, when you bow, yeah. I mean, not the first move, you know, a long walk bar, you put your hands Yeah, that's here. putting your hands up with your fingers slightly spread in front of you. Right. And so you're listening to God, and it's what you're saying with your body.